lesson will be focusing on applications of mirrors and lenses in optical instruments. That will be week eight. For the most essential learning competencies, we would like to identify ways in which the properties of mirrors and lenses determine their use in optical instruments. Examples, of course, are cameras and binoculars. We'll be uh, focusing on lenses. Okay, for the concept check, let us recall what we have already learned so far for the second quarter. So we started with discussing electromagnetic waves, its forms and uses. We have visible light. Diba? Pagkatas ng electromagnetic waves, we discuss that is visible light as a part of electromagnetic wave. And then from uh, with the idea of the visible light, we learn that visible light interacts with matter in different ways. And then we focus on reflection and refraction. And then we discuss image formation in mirrors and lenses. We tried to describe ang itsura ng mga images na form dito sa mirrors and lenses natin. And so for eighth week, we'll be discussing on applications in optical instruments. So alam na natin paano na form yung image. Alam na natin siya i-describe. So gamit itong mga bagay na itong mga concept na tutunan natin na si convex lens, si convex, concave mirror, ganito yung image na form. So ano yung kahalagahan nun? That's why we have now yung mga optical instruments as of applications of this concept. To roughly give a wrap up of what we have learned from mirrors and lenses. So let us uh, compare between mirrors and lenses because we have had so many concepts uh, around this topic. So tingnan natin kung uh, paano natin sila relate So we learned that from, uh, from mirrors and lenses, there are different types for mirrors. You have the plane, the convex, and the concave. So we can also use the terms converging and diverging. Ano, same lang din naman yun. And then for lenses, we only have concave and convex. Wala po tayong plane na lenses. Okay. And then for mirrors, we focus on reflection. So yung uh, guiding principle ng uh, mirrors would be reflection. Lahat na nangyayari sa mirror ay reflection lamang. While on lenses, we have refraction. Reflection being the bouncing of light, while refraction being bending of light. For mirrors, how would the images be uh, formed? Okay, For plain mirrors, uh, they would have the same size, virtual, and then upright. But then you have to take note here, a very special uh, characteristic dito sa ating plane, side reverse, left, right, reverse. Ibig sabihin, di ba, pag nakaharap ka sa salamin, Pag taas mo nung kanang kamay mo, yung nandun sa salamin, nandun sa kabila ng salamin, ang itinataas niya talaga is yung kaliwa niya. Okay? Pero magkatapat, same size, virtual and upright. However, it is side reverse. Yung, kung alin na sa kanan, nasa kaliwa, yung reflection. Kung alin na sa kaliwa, nasa kanan ng reflection. Okay? And then for lenses, of course, wala naman tayong plane na lens, so wala tayong image formation. For convex mirrors, okay, take, take note of this, we have smaller virtual and upright images. Pinapaliit ng convex mirror, yung ating object, however, it is still upright. And then, uh, the images formed are formed from the extension of the reflected rays. That's why they are called virtual or identified as virtual. For lenses, Images form on convex lenses vary depending on the position of the object. So, depende siya kung malapit, malayo, ano, sa ating lens. For concave naman, it is similar to convex lens. The image varies depending on the position of the object. Again, as you move the object away or nearer the lens or the mirror, okay, the image form varies. And then for concave lenses, images form are smaller, virtual, and upright. So I did not include the location because the location naman would also depend on the position of the object. For the applications for mirrors, you have your car mirrors, merong side mirror, yung rear view mirrors, iba't ibang klase ng mirrors yun. You also have your dental mirrors, yung corner mirrors, yung shop mirrors, traffic mirrors, the PR mirrors. And then, of course, you have your shaving mirrors, yung plain mirror nyo na nasa banyo, nasa bahay. Okay? And then for lenses, maraming marami, you have cameras, your periscope, your microscope, 
eyeglasses, telescope, you also have yung mga yung lumang projector, yung OHP pa, yung kulay dilaw ang ilaw. Oh, ayun, ginagamitan ng acetate. The LCD projector uses also uh, lenses. Okay, and so many, many more na optical instruments. That's why we are focusing on more on the lenses. Let us start with the uh, applications of mirror. So we learned yung iba't ibang klase ng mirrors last time. So this one, you have uh, performed in your performance task last time, yung week 6. Okay, so hopefully para sa kayo na nakikita doon sa, sa concave at convex portion ng spoon which represents concave and convex mirrors. So for mirrors, we have a wide range of views for this reflecting objects. Ano? So we can use them for checking our physical appearance. So sa umaga, sa tahali, sa gabi, yung mga mahilig man alamin dyan, di ba? Lagi may hakon sa lamin. Okay, we use mirrors. Sabi ko kanina, for vehicles, di ba, or cars, we have the side view, mi side, side view mirror, rear view mirrors, okay? Sa iba't ibang klase ng mirrors are used. At may makikita natin bakit ganun yung klase ng mirror na ginagamit. We also have security and safety as yung sa mga mahilig mag 7-Eleven dyan, yung mga corner mirrors, okay? Shop security mirrors. Ay, ganun din yung ginagamit kasi dito sa, ano eh, sa kalsada. Although dito sa Pilipinas hindi siya masyadong common. Siguro sa Manila, common to. Yung talagang talamak yung traffic. Ano. And of course, medical instruments. Let's start with, of course, your side view mirror. So from the illustration or in, in your experience of riding a car or any vehicle, uh, how do images look? in the side view inside view mirrors and so basically the, for the size it is smaller what else from upright upright the virtual real mahirap kasi identify for us and ano pero okay na din yun so we have your image as smaller and then upright okay from dung dalawang clues na yun what do you think would be the kind of mirror for the side view mirror Okay, so for the side view mirrors, it uses convex mirror. It produces images which are small, virtual, and upright. So, bakit ganun yung kanyang, bakit convex mirror yung ginagamit? Kasi nga pinapaliit niya yung image mo, tapos it, you mean, upright. Ang hirap naman mag-gravel kapag ka ang image yung nakikita mo sa salamin mo sa katiwari. And it provides a wider view of the side vicinity. So, since smaller yung mga image natin, Okay, it gives you yung, uh, uh, yung wider view. Pinapakita niya sa iyo yung, yung lawak ng nasa tagiliran mo, okay? Yung in yung convex mirrors. You cannot use uh, mirrors that produces, say for example, it which enlarges. Yung ano, di ba? Parang alam niyo yung pag nagsasalamin kayo, meron kasi kayo sa uh, yung mga kulari, mga kulit dyan, gagamitin yung eyeglasses ng lola nila. Tapos pagka ano, pag sinuot nila, Di ba? Parang feeling natin madada pa tayo. Akala natin na tumaas yung daan o kaya lumapit, di ba? So, hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng mga ganyang klase ng lenses or mirror for side view. That's why we use side view mirrors. It's, uh, of course, simple logic lang naman. Pero at least, di ba, you know why we use this kind of uh, instruments. Okay? How about this one? So, this is mga uh, top security mirrors or yung mga corner mirrors na tinatawag. Okay, so can you describe the images form or the image form? Kunwari yung, oh, yung babae na lang. Lumiliit mo. No? Okay, lumiliit. Uh, how do you think would be this a uh, whole shop, di ba, fit into a mirror? So lumiliit siya. Okay, lumiliit yung ating image. How about the orientation? I'm upright. Of course, it is upright. Okay, so from, again, uh, the description Ganun then smaller and then upright, okay? So we have, again, for the shop security mirrors or traffic mirrors, same lang din kasi sila ng class ng mirrors, they use convex mirror. Again, they produce images which are small, virtual, and then upright. For them to provide wider uh, view of the whole vicinity. So, di ba, kung nandito yung cashier, say for example, dito sa area na to, when she looks at the mirror, although napakalayo pa rin nun, di ba? At least it provides you, it gives you an idea of what is happening, okay, around the, say for example, the whole shop, okay, or just a traffic mirror, um, makita natin agad yung mga, kunwari for enforcers, 
Nakita nila agad kung meron bang nag-violate ng rules. Okay? So, that would be traffic mirrors or shop security mirrors. Next, of course, this is Mira siya ba something mirror sa mga, uh, ewan ko, sa guys natin kung may gumagamit na nung ganito. But then we have what we call the shaving mirror. Uh, meron ko nakita nito sa mga girls din, yung mga mahilig mag-makeup. Yung nababaliktad na salamin, yung isa flat, yung isa, uh, isang pang klase ng mirror. So ano kayang klase ng mirror yon For shaving mirror. Pero when you use mirror, say for example shaving mirror, what would you want? Okay. From the image that you can see from the mirror, would you like your image to be smaller or larger or same size? Okay lang. Sa tingin nyo, would you larger. like... Larger. Okay, syempre, kapag nagsishave, di ba? Lalo, okay, ako na rin bubunot ng kilay. Sige, sa babae naman. Di ba? You would like to have your image larger kasi ang hirap naman mag-shave or kaya magbunot ng kilay, mag-kilay, mag-makeup. Kung yung inyong uh, image is very small, papaliitin. Kapag same size din naman, medyo alanganin pa rin tayo. Ano? So, since meron tayong, again, anong yung klase natin, ng ating image that is uh, larger, tapos, of course, orientation, dapat, upright. Upright, okay. So, again, you have your image as larger and upright. So, ano kayang klase ng mirror? Ito, it uses a concave mirror. So, yung mga nabibili ngayon ng mga salamin bilog, tapos napipihit siya, naiikot siya na ganun. Flat yung isa, tapos concave yung likod. So, what uh, would the concave mirror give you? Sabi nga natin, enlarge, virtual, and then upright image. So, of course, with this kind of mirror, you will be enabled uh, to see larger view of focus in the face. So, halimbawa, kung yun nga ay yung baba nyo or yung sa part ng bigote or sa kilay, okay, it would be easier for you. Lalo yun sa mga mahilig mag-makeup, talagang detalyado, detalyado mag-makeup. Okay? Very good. And then, another one, of course, would be, this one is actually similar to shaving mirrors. Okay? Uh, this is what we call the dental mirror. Yung hawak-hawak ng inyong dentista pagka kayo ay sinecheck ko yung meeting mo. Okay? It also uses a concave mirror which actually enlarges uh, your image produces a virtual image and then of course, upright. Okay? Hindi kasi pwede yung uh, plain mirror. Bakit kaya? Pumalit po kasi yung face ng hipin po. Okay, maliit. Maliit. Maliit one. Diba? Kasi for uh, concave mirror, pinapalaki niya. So, kung plain mirror, what do you expect of the size? Magiging the same lang. Okay? So, kung maliit yung ngipin, maliit lang din yung image yung makikita mo. So, it would be difficult for the dentist to see bakit pa siya magagamit ng mirror kung pwede niya lang silipin na ganyan. Ano? Another one, of course, what would be the kind of image that is formed in plain mirrors? Ano yung special na kind ng image na nakuform doon? Alam na natin, same size siya, siya ay virtual, siya ay upright. However, images formed in plain mirrors are side reverse. So if you will look at your uh, teeth using a plain mirror, it would actually produce an image which is a left, right, reverse. So, baliktad siya. It would be very difficult to identify. Yeah, kagaya nito nasa ano, nasa illustration. Kung ito siya, kung ito yung nakikita mo na image, ang totoo, ito talaga yung nasa kaliwa. Ito talaga yung nasa kanan. Ay, di ang nabunot na ng dentista ay yung nasa kaliwa. Ito pala ang may sira. Nakikita niyo ba yun? Magbabaliktad kasi yun eh, pag sa salamin, left, right, reverse ang salamin. Okay, so hopefully, ay, ay, yung, I mean, plain mirror. So hopefully, alam nyo na yung ibig sabihin yung left side reverse. Or enables us to see larger view of the focus in the teeth. Okay po, question? May tanong tayo? May tanong tayo? So similarly, we'll be doing uh, also the same thing for lenses. Okay, so sa lenses natin, uh, we'll be discussing different uh, instruments, specifically optical instruments. When we say optical instruments, from the word uh, optical, okay, so it refers to the eyes. It refers to the use of the eyes. So what concerns us here would be, again, 
Siyempre, yung application ng visible light. Okay? From this um, optical devices, we identify the different type of lenses. Kung may mirrors, pwede rin. And then, uh, later on, we'll be uh, discussing what will be the uses of these uh, devices. And uh, consequently, we'll try to describe the images formed from this devices. Uh, it explain natin kung paano natin ginagamit yung mga device na to using uh, the principles of uh, ray diagramming and at the same time image formation. Okay? So, let us start with the first example or first device. Pinocos ko lang kung ano hinihingi dun sa inyong module. Ano? You can also read uh, most of uh, the concepts here doon sa inyong module. Pinasimple ko lang siya. Okay, so let us start with the first device. So what do you think is this? So for us, we'll be calling this telescope. Ano, pero there are different kinds of telescope actually. Meron tayong tinatawag na astronomical telescope. Meron tayong tinatawag na binoculars. Okay? What we'll be focusing, of course, will be a refracting telescope. So for a refracting telescope, since refraction yung kanyang focus principle or process, okay, we are sure that we are using... Ano kaya? Lens or mirror? So, we have learned from a uh, previous discussion that if we talk about refraction, what we'll be focusing would be lenses. So, for telescope, we use a pair or two pieces of convex lenses. And for these convex lenses, uh, these are actually of different size. Mamaya malalaman natin bakit magkaiba yung sizes ng lenses natin. Okay? So, what would be uh, the general use of a telescope? Okay, it is used to examine objects which are distant. So, ginagamit natin to para makita natin yung mga bagay na malayo. Say, for example, the stars or uh, say dito lang tayo sa ano, terrestrial. Uh, say, for example, mountains or meron tayong titignan na uh, landscape or uh, sceneries. Okay, so we use the telescope. So, uh, how does uh, a refracting telescope enables us to see distant objects. So, when we say uh, pina, uh, hinahayaan niya tayo makakita ng distant objects, yung mga malalayong bagay. So, suppose hindi kapag malayo yung bagay, alam natin, ang idea natin is maliit na yon. Hindi natin siya ganun makikita in detail. So, what would a uh, refracting telescope does is, it will uh, help us see larger pictures or images of these objects. Say, for example, yung mountain. Napakalayo na yon so it appears very small. Pero when we look at a refracting telescope, it will help us see or it will enables, uh, enable us to see yung mountain very huge size. Okay? So that is a refracting telescope. So how does a refracting telescope work? Okay? Again, sabi natin gumagamit siya ng pair ng convex lenses. So this one is the first convex lens and then this one is another convex lens. Okay, or converging lens. So, in the case of telescope, so, ito yung maliit na end. Titinitawag natin na eyepiece. Kung saan tayo sumisilip, yung mas maliit. And then, yung mas malaki is what we call the objective. So, the objective is actually your own lens from, uh, in which yung light coming from the object, okay, hits first. So, what would happen is, of course, kunwari meron dito yung object natin. Say, for example, we would like to look at a, sabi kasi dito sa drawing is an arrow. Kunwari meron tayong arrow mula sa malayo. Okay. Using the guidance or principles of image formation for lenses, it will follow. So, kung meron kang light ray dito, parallel, magkoconvert siya sa focus, okay, and so on. In that case, lahat ng light, say for example, T and Q papasok dun sa ating lens, it will be converged into a single point called the focus. Alam naman natin yun, kung parallel siya. Kung hindi, that would be depending on how the lens will refract it. So in the case of the lens, okay, ito yung tinatawag natin na first image. Itong arrow na nandito. Bakit siya siya tinag na first image? Siya pa siya ulit sa isa pang? lens kung saan gagawa pa ng panibagong image. What we call this is an intermediate image. So how can we describe the intermediate image? Uh, usually, this object is larger, very much uh, larger uh, than compared to the uh, image. Siya ay magiging reduce, inverted, and real. Tapos itong image na to, it will serve as another object for the eyepiece. 
ito na yung magiging object natin, yung image na na-form. Kasi meron pa tayong pangalawang lens eh. So, the same thing, it will follow the same rule or the same principle. And then, until it produces another image. In the case of this one, we produce a virtual image already. Itong pangalawang arrow na malaki. So, sa intermediate image, magiging object for the final image. So, what would be the characteristic of the final image? Ito yung na nakikita na natin with our naked eye or with our eyes kapag sumilip tayo sa telescope. So, it is already enlarged compared to ito. Ito yung comparison na, enlarged na siya, inverted, and virtual. Okay? Enlarged, inverted, and virtual. So, it matters Kapag itinatanong sa inyo ay kung ano yung image na form, say, sa IPS lens, sa objective lens. So, how do we look at images using a telescope? So, alam natin, since very far siya, so technically, pinalaki niya yung object. Ito. Tapos, you'll expect that if you look at a telescope, ay baliktad yung image na form. Ewan ko kung may nakapag-try na sa inyo gumamit ng telescope, refracting telescope. Baliktad yung image. So, kung bawa, kapag sa tao mo siya itinapat, nakatiwarik yung tao. And then, of course, that is virtual. The next one, of course, from the illustration. So, basically, this is a camera. So, given the illustration, ano kaya po yung meron dun sa camera natin? Ano kaya yung lens yung ginagamit? We use here a piece of double convex lens. However, for some, we use com uh, combination. Lalo na yung, di ba, yung may ina-add na lenses sa camera. Yung mga sa, uh, DSLR. Uh, may mga nilalagay sila doon sa unahan. nag add sila ng lenses. So, that is actually uh, for varying effects or varying uh, images that can be captured by the camera. So, again, we use the camera to capture still images or objects. So, from the illustration, so ito si tao. Okay, so this one would be your object. Okay, ito na yung object natin. And then, of course, this would be the image. So, what happens is that, again, using your converging lens or a convex lens, it will produce an image that is reduced, inverted, and real. Okay, so that is a camera. You can actually alter yung layo noong lens mo from uh, kung saan nabubuo yung image nyo. Pag ina-alter nyo yun, it also alters the image. Diba when you zoom in or zoom out? Okay, pag nag-zoom in kayo, pinapaliit niya yung scope ng picture. So, mas malaki yung image na focus nyo, yung background maliit. Kapag nag-zoom out, mas malaki yung background, mas maliit yung image. So, that is how your camera works. Okay? So, that is the second one. Next, of course, would be, from the illustration, you have your uh, magnifying glass. It also uses a double convex lens, just like for the camera. Her magnifying lens, as is lang. Kung paano mo minumug, paano mo hawakan yung magnifying lens, doon mo makikita yung image. Okay? Actually, the simple, a simple magnifying lens uh, gave rise to the idea of the different uh, optical instrument. Alam ko, dyan din ang galing yung idea ng microscope. Same as for the telescope. Okay. Magnifying lens. It is used to enlarge minute objects. So, yung first-hand observation natin, it is when at that moment, you know, observe mo yung ating object. So, ang ginagamit natin is magnifying lens or magnifying glass. So, from the illustration, sabi nga, meron tayong double convex lens, tapos meron tayong object from the image formation. Di ba kasi, Sobrang lapit mo dapat. Malapit ka dapat dun sa in-observe mo na object. Okay? That's why, kung makikita natin dito, yung object, kadikit na kadikit siya nung lens. So, what happens is that, kasi kapag nilayo mo, hindi siya, hindi siya lalaki. Hindi lalaki ng ayos yung inyong object. At meron pa rin instance or point na babaliktad yung image. Okay? You don't want that inverted image. That's why, you put your magnifying glass very close to that. Object. So, what would be the image form? The image form should be enlarged, virtual, and upright. And we're down to, I think this would be the last number. So we have your microscope. So, it works uh, the same actually with the telescope. Uh, ang pinagkaiba lang niya is that, of course, the microscope, alam naman natin, 
that is used to observe uh, objects which are very small. For uh, for small objects na refer natin dito, we can actually take note of objects which are of length na in nanometers, in micrometers, millimeters. Super liit naman siya. Compare dun sa telescope, malalaki yung object natin, pero bakit siya nagiging maliit? Kasi siya ay napaka layo. Yung sa microscope natin, hindi siya ganun kalayo. Kung uh, maalala niyo yung use ng microscope natin, di ba? You have the stage here. You put the slides here in which your or, uh, microorganisms or the specimen will be placed. So, malapit siya dun sa lens natin. Ito yung tinatawag na objective lens. Tatlo yun, yung HPO, LPO, at saka scanner, if you can recall. Tapos may lens ka pa ulit dito sa taas. Yung, ba? yung sinisilipan mo dito, which is the eyepiece lens. Okay, malapit lang siya. However, very small, very minute yung inyong uh, object. Okay? Sa telescope naman, kaya lumiliit kasi sobrang layo. Okay? Pero this, the principle would be the same. So for uh, microscope, it uses two convex lenses. And then, of course, yung unang lens that is from the objective will be forming a real inverted and enlarged image. Again, it is the object, yung smaller na arrows. And then, for the first image that will be formed, it will be real, inverted. Take note, dito na ka, ano yung end ng arrow. Pagdating sa image 1, nandun na siya sa kabila, sa right. And then, it is larger compared to the object. Okay? And then, itong image 1 or the intermediate image will now become the object for the second image. That is for the eyepiece lens. So, using this image as an object, ito yung mapoform niya na image. Yung pinakamalaking arrow dito sa baba. So, in that case, it uses extension of the refracted rays. So, virtual yun. It is very much enlarged. Uh, therefore, the use of a microscope. And then it is now already inverted. Kaya pag nakikita nyo sa microscope, pag matatandaan nyo yung grade 7 ninyo na activity ng microscope, pag tumingin kayo sa uh, microscope, yung specimen nyo nakabaliktad. I don't know what you use kung yung letter E or letter A, dapat baliktad siya tapos side reverse. So kapag minug mo slide na pa left, mag-move yung image nyo pa right. Uh, I, so that is for a microscope. And that ends our discussion on the applications. Again, we use microscope, magnifying lens, camera. You have your dental mirror, your shaving mirror, your side view mirror as applications of this principle.